Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ness. If you are new to the channel, this channel provides a lot of product review, specifically footwear design. And sometime here and there, I will sneak in a couple of clothing pieces that I think that are interesting to share with you guys. And I always include few different looks to give you guys ideas how to styling with the products. In this video, I'm gonna do a review on this collaboration between Nike and Pata. I think they have done some great collaboration in the past and I'm really interested in the hybrid type of sneaker, especially that they used the tooling from the Nike Pegasus 40. As usual, this collaboration between Nike and Pata, they done a pretty good job on the packaging. You can see they have that Patty branding logo in 3M reflective material and around the box. And this packaging, they also come with the running tower. Maybe if you are an actual runner, you will benefit from this. And now let's go to the fun part, which is the sneakers. Uh, the pricing on these shoes is $160. I think it's pretty affordable pricing for a special collaboration between these two brands and also like some material and hardware they look premium to me so 160 is a good price point and this model they come with three different colorways the black and yellow colorway they release in the Nike sneaker app and the last colorway which is the cream and neon pink colorway they release in Pata web page um, I think that colorway is the best colorways I don't know why they don't release this in Nike apps um, that's why I end up getting this black colorway uh, for those who are just wear them for lifestyle type of sneaker then I would recommend you to go have a side up because I have a little bit hard time to go through this instep for those who are running on the shoes then you should go for like two to side comforts why they are very good they are cushy stable even though the upper will take you a couple wear to break it in because of the material overlays premium leather that they use on this upper now let's get a closer into the detailed design of this model the upper is a mixture with every mesh premium leather and textile material the premium leather overlaid with cut out detail this leather that they use on this model they feel very durable that type of leather which is i love the most when it comes to the material that they use on footwear and also the detail cut out on this upper as well man the underlay they use this airy mesh in great colors i'm not really a big fan of this airy mesh because they make the shoes look down great uh, compared to the premium black leather that they use on this upper and the third material on this upper which is the textile material that they use on this booty constructions uh, interior they use neon print material is stretchy for easy on and off um this textile material they have the print exactly like the packaging and on top of the top line you can see the branding logo pata and nike air harache pata branding logo look interesting to me it look like some special fort patch and in the middle size of this top line you can see they have the plus text in the back of the heel counter they have webbing pole with the nike and pata gel print in gray colors what makes the shoes iconic is this zigzag cost strap on the upper with this buckle strap uh, for the quick easy on and off it's almost like a customized fit on your feet somehow i feel like the webbing strap on the fundo is a little bit inexpensive because the material is a little bit thin. I don't know, man. I just like the kind of a little bit heavy duty kind of webbing on the strap. But I guess if they use the thicker webbing, it's may gonna make your foot feel uncomfortable. And the top down view is asymmetrical design. A lot of people, they're not really a big fan of asymmetrical design, but to me like asymmetrical design, it's make the shoes look interesting, right? Normally when you look at the lateral side, you already can tell what it look like in the middle side, but this one you able to spin it in 360, explore the shoes 
enjoy the design craftsmanship on this upper. Uh, this also tooling in the forefoot and in the heel area, they have air zoom technology from Nike. And in the back of the heel area, they are very modern. You know, I love how they combine this like retro and modern tooling together on this shoe. The outsole pattern, they have four foot cut out, give you that flexibility and the lighter weight on the shoe. Right now on this model, they already lightweight, but compared to the original Nike Pegasus 40, they are even lighter than this shoe because they don't have that like hardware and the thickness material like the leather that they use on this upper so that is gonna reducing the weight on the shoes compared to this model and up next i'm gonna share with you guys how i would like to style them So there you have it. What do you think about this model collaboration between Nike and Pata? I think Pata and Nike, they done some great collaboration in the past. This one is not an exceptional. To me, like I'm not really using this model for like running Pacific because like I can wear a pair of Nike Pegasus 40 for like mainly for running. This is definitely for lifestyle more than a running show. And if you like one of the look in this video, give me a thumb up. Comment below in the comment section, would you wear these shoes for running or just lifestyle? And for those who are new to this channel, subscribe to my channel for more video because I have a lot of video coming up every single week and I can't wait to share with you guys. I'm out.